speak that undividable, in the corporate, and better than thy dear self's better part. Ah! Do not tear thyself away from me. For no, my love, as easy makes thou fall a drop of water in the breaking gall, and take unmingled that same drop again without addition or diminishing, and pay from me thyself and not me too. How dearly would it touch thee to the quick? Shouldst thou but hear I were licentious, and that this body, consecrate to thee by ruffian lust, should be contaminate, wouldst thou not spit at me, and spurred at me, and hurl the name of husband in my face, and tear the stained skin off my harlot brow, and with thy false hand cast the ah. wedding ring, oh. and break it with a deep divorcing vow, I know thou canst, and therefore see thou do it. I am possessed with an adulterous blot. Oh. My blood is mingled with the crime of lust. For if we two be one, and thou playest false, I do digest the voice of thy flesh, being trumpeted by thy contagion. Keep then fair league in truce with thy true bed. I live unstained, thou undishonored. Be you to me, fair dame? I know you not. In Ephesus, I am but two hours old. A stranger to your town is to your talk. Fie, brother! How the world has changed with you! When were you wont to use my sister thus? She sent for you by Dromio home to dinner. By Dromio? By me? By thee. And this thou didst return from him, that he his buffet thee, and in his blows denied my house for him, and me for his wife. Ye do converse, sir, with this gentlewoman. What is the course and drift of your compact? I, sir, I never saw her till this time. Villain, thou liest, for even her very words didst thou deliver to me on the march. I never spake with her in all my life. How could she then thus call us by our names, unless it be by inspiration? 